Hey, 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 this is Kurt the Boat Doctor. Mm hmm. Hey, out here in this beautiful 180 Hughes, Hughes craft, Sportsman 180 Anchor Guard. Look at that finish on that. I like that color, it matches that gray top. You got your sides, you back, got your backdrop, downrigger pads. Uh, and this one here is like a 20 inch transom. That looks 25 to me. 25 inch transom, you got a 115 Yamaha. 13 by, I think, 15 or 17. 17. So it's 13 by 17, that's 11 by 7. That's got uh, total salt water protected. You got zincs on the inside of every cylinder on both of these on the outside on the block you got zinc there you got zinc underneath stainless cross shaft drive shaft two coats of clear two coats of primer special paint now this 99 is a high thrust of course if you look at the opening you hear and the big prop right there that gives you more backup uh about 70 percent more because the, the back pressure releases out the back and you got a 25 gear case and then you got power trim right here boom boom you got your starts here your stops here your friction for your throttles right here and i'll show you how to start all this when i'm out on the water you got rear fill i put about 20 gallons of non-ethanol in here um and i think your 24 gallon tanks and 115 horsepower is the max you got a ladder sitting right here you got your active three and one on the ranch unit double sinks and those are bolted on those are better Excuse my grain plug you got a horse down hose right there and uh, these, I believe, if I remember right, they're like uh, 18, 5, 86 on the beam going across. You got inside depth, is like 27 inches. You got uh, dead rise, you got 10 degrees in the rear, 11 by 31 up front on the degrees. And the bottom gate, I think, is 160, it's 66 inch wide. I believe that's five and a half on the bottom. And it's five capacity. I think maximum horsepower, like I said, is 115. Boat dry weight is about 1,200 pounds. And um, that's about what I can tell you there. <clears throat> and uh, you got bow rails here, dual wipers. You can un unzip that. You don't have to unsnap to open up that front window, LED lights. And then this here unzips and snaps to here. So it gives you like a wing window. If you go like this, and then unzip this, that goes on the inside and folds and mocks. So you don't have to unsnap it, good idea. Yeah, they come up with some dandies there. Nice roll cowling, somewhere you can stand on. And then I'll go on the inside. Oh, gear bath oil hubs, uh, brown good, white bad, uh, five lug, 80 pounds, got torsion axles. Those I imagine are about 65 pounds. Cold tire pressure, they're ST. 20575R14s, bunks with slicks on them, spare tire carrier, safety chain, swing tongue, put a padlock on that just so you don't go down sideways if someone pulls that pin, two inch ball, standard clip, cables instead of chain, that's the way to go. Flat um, four on the trailer wires, that's my plug. I'd even get a log for your stinger there. And then we'll go back here. And since this has got the higher transom on it like this, you really don't get any water coming in through the back, even if you were full throttle and put her in neutral. It ain't gonna, I don't even think, come over the back right here. You got tie bar on here. Here's your choke on this one. I'll show you all that when I'm running it. And then I gotta prime the system. So they just put gas in there. There's your ski pole that goes right here. You might wanna make sure you take it down probably if you're not using it. And here's your anchor light goes right here. Then you gotta pull it out. I think you gotta go out through the front. Yeah, like that. See, hello, where are you? There you go. Then you gotta go, oh, come on, baby. You can make it, you can make it. There it is, oh. And you just pull it out here. And then that goes right here. Open it up. You got your screw that goes in that notch and then this goes like this to lock it then you got your wash down that's there oh let's go to the battery single battery you got your shut off switch right there you got your mini on your uh, yamaha filter i change that once a year no matter what 
and your first service is between 10 and 30 hours let the dealer do that there is a charge after that you can do it yourself just get, keep a receipt for the oil and have someone sign it that you changed it after that got the larger bench seats two box with springs grab handles cup holders got the elite these are good little units i like these little rants that's like a nine inch 703 control box horn works courtesy lights you don't have live well you don't have nav lights you do have and it works wipers yep they work build pumps yep they work storage up underneath here and this is what i was talking about here then you can just unzip it the rest of the way and snap it up there kind of makes it nice you don't have to undo these same thing if you're pulling in your bumper say it was real rough and the current was pulling you that way and your bumpers were over here you can just unzip it pull it unzip it and then retie them over there which makes it really nice uh cable steer so the rest of this we'll do on the water now get the bumpers on and ropes and water looks good today boat doctor out mm -hmm.